All right, so this is going to be a short video on how to make a shipping crate for a woodworking vise. Similar concepts can be used for shipping other vices. Now, uh, basically what you want to do is obviously measure your vise. Uh, then you build the crate. First, uh, pick nice thick uh, base. In my case, let's see, in my case it was a... Uh, piece of I think about three quarter inch maybe a little bit thicker plywood really good plywood so let's set this aside then you know obviously build the sides just use your favorite type of screw uh, just use decking screws on this one it, it made job go a little bit quicker now then uh, the biggest uh, trick I guess is and you can already see I'm guessing uh, is to make sure the device doesn't move while it's being shipped. So what you want to do is basically mount it inside of the box, like you would mount it under the workbench. And let me just lift it up. And the sky is a little bit heavy. But you can see not a bit of movement, and this device got to be about 30 pounds. Now, uh, what I did here to build the uh, mount is a couple 2x4s and then a little bit of shimming. Uh, and let's see... Obviously, you know, you're going to put in the bolts in there so it doesn't move. Nice, thick bolts. Uh, on the bottom, what I did was uh, I just used a hanger tape. So, again, there's no movement. And, again, I just kind of built up the base for it, uh, which was, again, a couple 2x4s and a little bit of shimming. Same for the handle. Now, this is a metal handle, so I didn't mind using a hanger tape on it. If it was, uh, you know, a different type of a handle, I would probably uh, do it a little bit differently, but this is fine for the purposes here. <clears throat> Let's see. And again, you can see I just dumped it. There's no movement, nothing. Uh, I'm trying to think what else is there that would be of interest. Oh, a little bit of wax paper, uh, another hanger tape. Um, the reason for that is... I don't know what this uh, hanger tape is made out of, some, some mystery metal, right? You just buy it at Home Depot or Lowe's or something. So I don't want any kind of reaction with the nice uh, cast iron here. Uh, I'm trying to think what, was, what else is there that would be of interest. That's probably pretty much it. I mean, you can see everything from the video. And obviously the device is locked, right? So it's like the jaw is not going to be moving. Now, um, what's going to happen next is we're going to put the top right there. Put the screws all around and that's it um as simple as that thank you for watching